Hello and welcome to the Middle School Bookmarker Super Quick Book Preview Show. This episode, we're checking out Focused by Allison Gerber. Let's give it a preview and see if you want to read it. I have 45 minutes to finish five word problems, shower, get ready for school, and eat. I should have done all my homework last night, like probably everyone else in my class did. But the word problems this year are a lot harder than the ones we had to do last year. And I guess I thought that when I woke up this morning, the questions would be easier and less like blobs of letters that make zero sense. I was wrong. They're still impossible. And even though I'm the worst at math, I know that if I hand in 5 out of 10 answers, my best grade is a 50. In other words, an F. I can't let that happen. My phone is buzzing. I'm pretty sure it's red, since he's the only one that ever texts me. I scan the room. Bed, dresser, side table, floor? It's not here. Unless it's under the pile of clean clothes mom asked me to fold and put away yesterday. But that doesn't even make sense. My phone is my alarm, so I had it a few minutes ago when I woke up. It must have fallen off the table. I hang off the side of the bed and look. Phew! I pick it up, flip it over, and put it down next to me. I don't read the text. I can't let Red's message distract me from my homework. He'll totally get it when I tell him what happened. I mean, we're best friends, so he knows how my life will be ruined if I fail. I sit up and read the first word problem. Three friends, Jane, John, and Joe, are dividing up the proceeds from their local lemonade stand. My stomach grumbles. I'm pretty hungry. Maybe I should shower, eat, and then do my homework. A toasted English muffin with melty peanut butter on one side and Nutella on the other might help me concentrate. Plus, it will only take me 15 minutes, and then I'll still have 30 minutes to finish math. Done. Great plan. I shower as fast as I can, cover up my new forehead zit, gloss my lips, and throw on a light blue dress. Because even though it makes me look like I'm trying too hard, a dress is an Insta outfit, and the clock is ticking. I don't have time to coordinate tops and bottoms right now. I need to make breakfast and get back to work. I grab my textbook and run out of my bedroom and down the hall three minutes earlier than I planned. Winning! I'm rushing down the stairs and flipping back to the page about Jane, John, and Joe so I can read while I toast when my foot slides and slips out from under me. I grab for the railing, but I miss and fall backwards, landing on the stairs. What is wrong with me? Clea, are you okay? Mom asks, rushing over. I don't know. My voice sounds small and far away. Mom helps me up, and once I'm standing, everything in my body feels weird and shocked and stiff. She bends down to pick up my textbook, wraps her arms around me, and leads me into the kitchen. We sit down at the table, and she looks at me like she's really worried. I know we've talked about this before, but you need to slow down and take your time, sweetheart. If you try to do everything at once, you're going to end up getting really hurt. That'll wrap up our passage preview. Let's take a look at a quick review. Amazon has this at four and a half out of five stars based on 275 ratings. Here comes the back of the book blurb. But first, if you're enjoying this book preview, would you consider sharing with a friend or a teacher or a librarian? It'll help me grow the channel and get the right books in kids' hands. Clea can't control her thoughts. She knows she has to do her homework, but she gets distracted. She knows she can't just say whatever thought comes into her head, but sometimes she can't help herself. She knows she needs to focus, but how can she do that when the people around her are always chewing gum loudly or making other annoying noises? It's starting to become a problem, not just in school, but when Clea is playing chess or just hanging out with her best friend. Other kids are starting to notice. When Clea fails one too many tests, her parents take her to be tested, and she finds out that she has ADHD which means her attention is all over the place instead of where it needs to be. Clea knows life can't continue the way it's been going. She's just not sure how you can fix a problem that's all in your head. But that's what she's going to have to do, to find a way to focus. Focused by Allison Gerber is a middle school drama, and it's about a middle school girl dealing with ADHD. The page length is 304, and the audiobook is 6 hours and 39 minutes. All right, let's wrap this baby up. Moment of truth, is this book for you? If not, we got a bunch of other stuff to check out on the Middle School Bookmarkers YouTube channel. If you want to read something like Harry Potter, you could check out this preview for Harry Moon. If you like softball, here's a new book called Fast Pitch. Thank you so much for checking out this book with me. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the preview, and I hope you find something that you want to read.